All right, <clears throat> this is how I uh, built my uh, FEMA type uh, gas fire. It's, uh, it's a six inch tube in, <clears throat> inside about a 28 inch uh, 40 schedule pipe. Probably overkill on the sides of each one. It's about 200 pounds. But uh, in the six inch tube in there should be good for 35 to, to 40 house per motor, maybe even closer to seven inch pipe. I can't remember. But uh, there's my great shaker down here. It's got a little, little program. It works pretty good. This got access to the inner tube, which, which pokes to keep the bridging from going down. I, you don't really have to put that in there. You have to maybe put another stirrer device in there, but I just happen to have the access to it, so I did it there. Uh, the great uh, FEMA called for that uh, colander. I didn't like it because it won't clear real well in case there's problems about the, the char and, and ash not clearing. I put a flatter one in there, so if you need to clear it, just shake the heck out of it and you can clear it and that will keep your uh, fire from migrating up the tube because most of your action and your heat will be from the bottom right here to about seven inches up right in here will be your hottest part my outside temperature probably is 500 degree Fahrenheit uh, usually operate mainly around 475 to 500 but it will get up to six seven hundred my little temperature gauge goes to 600 so I pegged it out a few times but Things started getting pretty hot at the end. The gas didn't really turn more more blue even at that temperature here in this FEMA type. Then the gas, I'll have a feed hopper on top of this one of these days, but I like to feed it by hand right now. Now the gas comes out of this tube, snakes around a little bit, this kind of cools it. That's just exhaust pipe, flexible exhaust pipe that goes down in the bottom of this cyclone filter, which is a backyard put together kind of deal, which works kind of good for the big particles. And then I got sawdust in the top part of this to help get rid of the dust, which dust is still getting through because it's not a high-tech deal. Then the dust in the gas goes out here into the bottom of this uh, water scrubber. Got my little 12 DC uh, water pump and tank here. Uh, and then that big brown pipe coming out of the bottom of the filter where I vent my gas out on startup. Pulled out by a 12-volt DC inline uh, boat blower. It's plastic, so, so make sure you where you put these little plastic blowers. They're not no, there's no heat, but it's only about 90 to 100 degrees out here, so we can handle it. Hadn't burned up yet. Then inside that sprinkler system is a little misters uh, coming from a water tank uh, with a bunch of furnace filter in there to help help uh, stop the dust or slow stuff down. Anytime you make gas turn a direction or change direction or stop it, it helps clean it up a little bit. The water gets pretty nasty with the dust and maybe some tar, but uh, I think my old eating bugs will clean it up. They, they clean up pretty much stuff. They like the phenols and the creosote too, so they'll pretty well clean it up where it'll be uh, safe for the environment. Then on top of this tank, there's a little bit more furnace filter, but more sawdust. I got in there loosely packed in there, so it's not too big of a pull yet. It comes out of the two inch uh, pipe up there with a little valve and into this uh, little sawdust filter. This little uh, sawdust filter is a little small. I need to make about a, it's about a 12 to, to 30, it's anywhere from 10 to 30 inch. I haven't decided yet, uh, sawdust pipe. But right as it is now, it cleans the gas up, turns it blue at a lower volume. But uh, it does, that sawdust is a good deal. I got a little bit of uh, stainless steel pads in there to keep the sawdust from falling out. And I got me a 120 volt, though that's the only AC I got. It's a vacuum pump to pull out of there. Those, that little bitty filter, it's a hard pull through that. If I make a bigger filter, it'll be more volume. It'll be less of a, uh, less of a, a suction pull. But anyway, this whole program is a pretty easy business. Uh, I got a couple, two, three hundred bucks in it, and probably, like they overkill on the pipe. And with this type of uh, sawdust filter, I may be able to streamline down a whole bunch of this. I may even be able to get rid of the tank, and a lot of this stuff was just a, a proper type. Uh, uh, sawdust filter because that that sawdust makes the best filter it, it, it's pretty good but main thing is just don't shake your grate too much I start mine from the top because I burn mine down all the time uh, all the way down to about six inches to leave the charcoal let it make charcoal at the very end and they're either start up just don't shake the grate too much because you'll cause your own bridging problem and uh, you should have fun I'll have more later